you're everyone. I'm Wally, and the rest of the listeners are Brennan, and we're roasting chips, yes. At, oh, never mind, I guess not before that. Hi, we're live. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. What's um, up? We're not doing the other thing because uh, I need a better computer and better internet for it. Oh, yeah, exactly. we're back on Zoom, uh, also because... Uh, last time I was bleeped out <laughs> oh, of yeah. existence for just a for just a, a little bit, for like the last like twenty minutes of the yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah. Realized the laughter was over, and it's it's like it's still up uh, like uploaded, so you can watch it if you want to. But you'll miss <laughs> every bit of context from the last twenty minutes, especially. You'll just, you'll just hear me and RJ go like radio silent, and then just. <laughs> And then you'll hear us respond to that radio silence. Yeah. Honestly, I do not think the last 20 minutes of last episode, the last episode was like super interesting, except for I made the funniest joke at the very end. You just hear this <laughs> you pause did. and then Wally and RJ burst into <laughs> laughter. And I, right. I, I assumed it would be immortalized nope. uh, in, uh, on, on the internet, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently no one will ever witness my hilarious joke. No, like, nope. So, no, because yeah. it wasn't even recording you. Nope. So all we could, me and RJ could still see and hear you, but it wasn't recording you. Mm-hmm. Um, there, okay, so, so we're back we're, on we're, 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 we're out of content for the first time since we started, essentially. At least the first time this Finally, year, we're I've, out of content. I've, I've been praying for this day, or I've been just, it just stopped into <laughs> this onslaught of like chores of like, okay, we have to name off everything now. Uh, um, but yeah. yeah, and if I'm you haven't break. noticed, this is our Halloween episode. Because everyone has to have that Halloween episode. Oh, it is. Oh, in case you could a costume. Yeah. Dang, I forgot. Me too. I just, I, oh well. If, if oh, I well. mean, if you guys can even find me on my screen, like I don't yeah, know. yeah. I mean, I mean, I just got off work here. This is my work suit. Um. <laughs> 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 you should totally wear that to work one day. Uh, yeah, it just I I, I had l- lots of long hours plaguing the Batman today. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, as you can see or hear. Um, or not here, as you can see, but not here, or if you're just hearing or unaware of, uh, we're in. Oh, no. Well, He's frozen if you're not, then you're not really listening to it. You froze. Was I frozen? <laughs> I was frozen? You froze for that part. Wow. Uh, so we're in costumes. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We are in costumes. <laughs> uh, uh, Brennan is dressed as uh, the, uh, I guess you guys can guess who Brennan is dressed as give you a riddle or two yeah <laughs> yeah the red light. you froze on my screen now wow this is just a, a whole mess here this is everything is a mess i i got it hold on twist a little tie in here our podcast is haunted there we go <laughs> that's a spooky halloween ha- vibe it's haunted by bad internet <laughs> yeah um but yeah and i am uh i'm where's waldo obviously but uh mm-hmm. since my name yes. is wally it's where's wally so yes yep <laughs> Oh no, he froze again. You froze again. <laughs> wow. This is First nice... name wears, last name Wally. Let exactly. me get that joke out right now before I freeze again. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a mess of a podcast. Yes. I um, am I am I, I'm not Brennan still. I'm the Riddler. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. I'm just very consistent here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to do news and then we're going to talk about Halloween stuff. Because, yeah. Like I said, we have no content. We'll give our quick thoughts in the last episode of uh, What If, no, but, uh, like real quick. Oh yeah, I almost thoughts. forgot about that. God, I that almost didn't do it until like five episode. minutes before this episode. Wow. So uh, yeah, so let's get in the news, shall we? Hopefully let's I do don't it. freeze and you hear everything. Yes. But uh, new Star Wars books were announced recently. What was that? <laughs> new Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> New Star Wars books were <laughs> announced recently. Yes. Um, they all have release dates in 2022, and they are as follows. The first one will – actually, I don't know what the chronological order of them all is, but the uh, first one is Shadows of the Sith by Adam Christopher, which is about Lando and Luke chasing uh, OG Bestoon from The Rise of Skywalker, and it's set between episodes 6 and 7. Brotherhood by Mike Chen, which is about Obi-Wan and Anakin pre-Clone Wars TV show post-episode 2. And Ventress is set to make an appearance. And the last one is uh, Padawan by Kristen White, which is about Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon right after Dooku leaves the Jedi Order and right as Obi-Wan becomes a Padawan set pre-Episode 1 and pre-Master of Apprentice. 
So we get to see uh, uh, Padawan, like really young Padawan Obi Wan. Neat. Yeah. And then there's and normally another... I eat this this sandwich. This is what I wanted to do before the podcast started. But... <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'll do uh, show now. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, just as long as it doesn't become ASMR, we're all good, right? Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. But uh, I'm excited uh, for those books. They all sound interesting. It goes from a chip roasting to sandwich chewing. <laughs> and now we have the name of the podcast, Sandwich <laughs> with Wally and Brennan. God. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm, ex- I'm just, I, I, I kind of can't wait for the Padawan book, you know, with uh, Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> he froze like, you take a bite. <laughs> you made the win. Oh my Cannot god. Cannot wait guys, to watch this one back. You guys have to watch this one. If you're listening to this podcast, you gotta change over. But anyway, um, I cannot so, wait uh, to watch this one back and <laughs> <laughs> uh, next piece of news. Uh, Lucas Films is doing is hosting something called Bring Back, sorry, Bring Home the Bounty, which essentially is a merch drop every week and up until the Bo- book of Boba Fett. On the website, they have icons for each week, kind of teasing what the that week's merch is gonna be. You know, there's one of it with Ahsoka's horns, there's one with uh Yoda's head, whatnot. And uh, the week of December 14th has a video game controller. Uh, people are starting to speculate that this is an announcement of a brand new canon video game. Some are speculating the f- uh, Jedi Fallen Order prequel or sequel. And, um, but yeah, I hope it's a higher public video game, but uh, that's just me. So, new Star Wars video game coming out soon. Right. Brennan is just uh, so ecstatic about all this news. Sorry. Um, I was I was still uh, chewing here. And you kept like for freezing, like uh, oh jeez, <laughs> it did. Am, am I frozen now? You were frozen for a second. Yeah. <laughs> do we need to wait until we have better internet? To, to I'm not to gonna get this? any better internet because if I unplug my computer, it will die. Mm. So eh. interesting. interesting. I'm getting a new well, computer anyway soon. So hey, cool. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this um, is gonna but be I happen to have to in in an inside source uh, oh, yeah. about the video game. So you saying that like helped uh, 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 re- remind me that we are getting uh, a new uh, a new video game here. Mm-hmm. It's an exclusive on the uh, uh, Xbox One or not Xbox like Xbox One. <laughs> What's the new Xbox? You know what? Xbox it doesn't one, matter. Yeah. This is a joke. Or Xbox it, X. Do, do not have to. The Xbox Series X? Okay, cool. It's on that one then. And it's, uh, it's, it's. No, oh, I knew that was going to happen. No. And it's just. Uh, it froze right as you, the, what? right as the punchline was coming. And I knew it was going to happen. This, Brandon, this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We're going to have to go through this news quick. Uh, this might be the short podcast that we yeah. always say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this this will be the short podcast. We'll probably cut this. We'll just probably like like uh, just do news, maybe a couple Halloween things, and then we'll just end it there. Yeah, because this is this is a mess. But uh... but we'll be back soon. But anyway, the the video game really quickly Xbox exclusive. Uh, they managed to get the rights to Grogu stamp collecting, <laughs> and it's as exciting <laughs> as it sounds. So uh, uh, pretty that's funny. Um, last piece of Star Wars news. There is a rumor that Hayden Christensen will return for Star Wars and Ahsoka, perhaps yes. in the flashbacks, he perhaps will be playing as Force Ghost. The role of Ahsoka <laughs> is what I've heard. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Um, no, there's a ton of Marvel news, of course, but uh, Marvel India tweeted out Monday, October 5th, that Blade is supposed to be released October 7th, 2022. This does somewhat contradict the news that the filming was pushed back to early 2022, but that means we're a little closer to Blade than expected. So, oh, great, great, great. Um, Catherine Hahn will return as Agatha Harkness, and uh, we'll get a spin off Disney Plus show. It's announced at New York Comic Con, and the time period the show was unknown. We were thinking a prequel. Oh, yeah. I. I was personally hoping for like a direct sequel where it's just like her unaware of who she is being uh, an annoying uh, a neighbor. <laughs> just who? Disney Disney releases just like a straight like like sitcom, no Marvel twist or anything. It's just 
Agatha being <laughs> being an annoying annoying neighbor for like twenty three episode seasons, five seasons, steady decline of quality the entire time. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, Will Poulter will be joining the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 as Adam Warlock. He is best known for playing the fake son in We're the Millers. He's also in the Maze Runner, apparently. This was reported by a few sources like The Hollywood Reporter and was confirmed later on Twitter by James Gunn. Nice. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. You know, with as, with as many issues we're having with the internet right now, it's a good thing that there's not a third person. Because <laughs> yeah. RJ was supposed to join us. But uh, uh, at the end, he was he's in space. Uh, yes, he is with the aliens. That's exactly what he told me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or he told it's actually the the uh, aliens trying the aliens to disguise me. Gotcha. the fact that they took him by telling you that they took him, and you were like, "Oh, ha ha, it's a joke," but mm-hmm. uh, it's not. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, a new trailer. We got a new trailer for uh, Hawkeye on the fourteenth, which confirmed that two episodes wow, yeah, will be right. coming out on November twenty fourth, not just one. That was cool. Yeah, I'm very excited for this show. Like, I'm really, I'm really hyped for it, especially after such a long time without anything. It'd be, it'll be nice to have something again. I mean, we are gonna have the Eternals, like. Oh yeah, but that's just one weekend though. Well, at no. least be mm-hmm. some kind of content there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there I don't know could if you be... heard that or not. You, you froze on my screen, but no, I, I got, I know, I knew what you meant. I knew what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, yeah, feel... I know my connection is unstable, computer. I feel like if somebody listening to this wants to get really wasted really quickly, just take a shot <laughs> every, every time. time either one of us says, oh, you're frozen <laughs> or just the word frozen. Uh, it's like that episode with Mark Hamill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is not a drinking game, though. The Mark Hamill episode was, was just alcohol poisoning. <laughs> That's true. That was 56 times. That'd be 56 shots. Yeah. That's pure death oh, at yes. least. At least a quarter of the way through the episode. Nobody do that, please. We do not want to be <laughs> held liable. No. Um, uh, Tom Holland in an interview the other day said, uh, we all treated No Way Home as the end of the franchise. This leads to uncertainty about both Holland as Spider-Man and Spider-Man in the MCU as a whole. So, you know. And the interesting thing with that is like, the Spider-Man movies really haven't been standalone in any regard. No. With other uh, movies. Mm-hmm. So for people to be like, oh yeah, this is just the end. It's like, unless they turn it into something standalone somehow, there's no way that it can be the end of anything. Right. Really? So I'm, I, I, like, I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know what to think about Spider-Man. It feels like we've gotten so much about it and I still don't know anything at all but like the more we kind of get without knowing anything it's kind of the worse it makes me feel about the movie yeah like if i hadn't been told anything i'd be super hype and now all this stuff that's coming out about it i'm like yeah yeah i know I, I i get to see i get the same feeling i mean that's how i kind of felt when they, when they announced they're doing the multiverse i mean i haven't wanted the multiverse we've been not reporting about it but we've talked about it since last december yeah so and because well, and especially you know uh two movies are like a go with a black widow. It was a, it was an all right movie, but it wasn't one of my favorites by any means. Sure. Uh, 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 it was, it was fantastic. I really liked uh, Shang Chi a lot. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, maybe they're going in a good direction now. But then you know. The Eternals had its red carpet premiere or whatever, mm-hmm. and and like the critic reviews are yeah, less. It's not. It's not been amazing. Positive. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it's just you know the critics are looking for something else, but the audiences will really enjoy the movie still. Mm-hmm. But it is possible that Marvel has kind of started to lose their way with movies here now that right. it's not as obvious what they're building up to mm-hmm. and how they're building up to it is like smaller heroes different kinds of, of stories they may be trying to treat these stories in the same way as before mm-hmm. which won't work like like we really can't know anything about the eternals everyone who's like either criticizing it or defending it right now can't really do so well because obviously nobody else besides the critics has seen the movie right 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 um but i really hope that i really hope that they're that they're still in a positive direction because if the, if, the, if the Eternals turns out to actually not be good in the audience's eyes, 
Mm-hmm. Doesn't give me much hope for Spider Man. Right, right. And it's, it's trying to take these massive events and shove it into one movie where, you know, it yeah. probably should be more than one. Yeah. Um, on the same subject as Spider Man, uh, Charlie Cox was asked in an interview what he would do if someone were to be cast as someone else were to be cast as Daredevil in, in the MCU. He said he would go down and he said, and I quote, I would go down to my basement, grab the suit, and then hunt them down and make, me, make them fight me for it. That was the perfect answer. It was honestly right? that was the perfect answer. I love Charlie Cox. He's great. I hope he's I hope best. he's see, and that's where like there's already so much going on in Spider Man three, and then I'm just like, but I want Charlie Cox still. Yeah, I want only him. <laughs> yeah, no, him and Tom Holland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's just it. That's it. Uh, Disney's delayed all of its upcoming MCU films except the Eternals, uh, coming next year, and the list goes as follows: Doctor Strange will go uh, from the 25th of March to the 6th of. May, May, May. Thor 4 May. will be the 6th of May to the 8th of July. Black Panther 2 will go from the 8th of July to the 11th of November. And the Marvels will go from the 11th of November to the 17th of February 2023. They just shifted everything back one over spot. one. Yeah. Uh, basically, here, yeah. Uh, and Indiana Jones was also moved back, but no one cares about that. Mm-hmm. Um, that was moved back an entire year. It's so um, funny because I, the last time I rewatched the the Indiana Jones movies, I realized I liked the first one a lot. Like the first one is really really good, and I don't like any of any of the other ones at all. Well, it wasn't even a slow decline. It was like a no. It was just immediately they just jumped off. Yeah, and honestly, I do think like like two is my least favorite. Then three was not horrible, still not good. I don't think, but like it's tolerable. Mm-hmm. And then four was just weird. <laughs> yeah. Is that the is that the crystal skull one? Yeah, yeah, that one was weird. And now um, getting five for some reason. <laughs> yes, uh, just just because Lucas Films doesn't know when to stop. Yeah, um, I mean they almost do. It's it's it's, it's a very natural stopping point. And then, and then like a couple years later, they're like, oh, why did we stop there? I have no idea. Let's just start again without examining this with any kind of thought at all. At and, all. and then the Harrison Ford every time he's done with Indiana Jones, he's like, I'm done with this character, and then he comes back for another. <laughs> Poor Harrison Ford. They just, write him a really big check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Han, Han Solo, Indiana Jones. It's like, I'm done. And he's like, okay, I'll come back, but only if you kill me <laughs> off by my son throwing me off a balcony. <laughs> and shoving a lightsaber through his chest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, the MCU has changed Kamala Khan or Ms. Marvel's power set for the MCU. I don't know much more about it, but apparently it changed her power set. And people like, are change- mad about it. I like, don't know how. I just I've seen the discourse on TikTok, like I, in like the movie or like in like a comic in the, book in the or show in, or yes sh- show. Sorry, yeah. yeah, in the show. Yeah. How do we know any anything about that yet? Like I don't know. We haven't gotten like a trailer or anything, can, or we we don't have a release date even. No, people have just found out somehow because it's, insiders. I guess I don't know. So it's it's just sp- speculation then. I guess. I guess it like someone yeah. speculated they changed their powers. People got mad that someone that about probably the events of the speculation. So, probably. Um, uh, last, I'm yep. excited for that series. So I wish they would give I us do. a release because they said late 2021 first, and they still haven't really like officially announced the change. Yeah, but like it's going around that it's that it got pushed back to to 2022 instead. But on like Marvel or Disney's official site, it still says 2021, which obviously not happening um, right. unless they have it. Be at the same time as like the the book of Boba Fett, maybe. Well, but they would they would have announced it by now though, right? I mean, y- yeah, you would think so, but I don't know. I would have thought we'd gotten some kind of announcement yet, regardless of of a when. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and lastly, on the Disney Marvel front, wow, I spelled Marvel wrong. Uh, Disney's announced a one of a kind dining experience on the Disney Cruise Wish called Quantum Encounters. Uh, all I'm assuming is it's a character dining, but with Marvel characters, which is kind of cool. Nice. Um, and then Quantum Sony characters. Yes. Sony. Wow, uh, Sony has said that they have two unnamed Marvel films for 2023. Some speculate one will be the third Venom movie, and uh, and, but it's a wide open guess at this point. Speaking of news, the Venom movie also came out. I believe it was out the last time we it had was because RJ had seen it, and now I've seen it. Oh, you've seen it? Yes. Wow, I have still not. It's okay. Now, let me ask you, could I see it? Is it worth the time and monetary investment right now, or should I just wait till it's done on streaming? Uh, go see it. Yeah? Literally just for the end credit scene. 
Interesting. I mean, the movie's fine. It's a good movie. Right. I enjoyed it. Like I, 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 the movie gave me joy, but uh, it's it's Venom. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, do we have a release date on the vampire movie? Who sounds like the oh, time Morbius? traveling guy from Loki? M- Morbius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's supposed to come out like mid, like March of next year, maybe. All right. Okay. Because I'm excited for that one. I think it was supposed uh, to come out like the week before well. Thor, but now it doesn't have to compete with Thor. Week before Doctor original Strange, right? You said no, March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant Doctor, yeah. Doctor okay, Strange. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. It's close to it. We could right. look it up, but I don't want to. Um, <laughs> my phone's over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's way too far. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, I, it's all, right. all the way over here. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, DC fandom happened. Uh, this previous Saturday or two Saturdays ago? Something oh, like yeah. We're like all the trailers dropped for everything. Right. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, we got a Black Adam trailer, a Batman, another Batman trailer, and a Flash uh, look. A Flash look. kind of trailer. Yeah. First look kind of a teaser. That's what they're called. Yeah. 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 Um, there were lots of like, lots of teasers called trailers and trailers called teasers. Right. There was like the Batman got like a main trailer which i've never seen that term used for trailers before usually it's like trailer one trailer two Mm -hmm. so main trailer was weird to see but neat yeah did did they make them did they make did anything like catch your eye i like this thing i like the 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 flash trailer a lot because i was looking forward to that the most Mm -hmm. and getting to see a lot of the events it's like okay i'm am excited for this movie still Mm -hmm. the batman movie yeah, the trailer was fine in my opinion. Like it's, it's I'm just trying to wait to see uh, when it comes out, mm-hmm. see what it's like then, because you really can't tell a lot from Batman trailers, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, it's Batman. I've seen him in movies like six different times with different guys. It's like it's kind of the same recycled thing. Like yeah. there's neat stuff. There's new for, for like diehard fans of Batman. It's super exciting. But I'm like, let's have to see how it plays out. Like like in full the story there to see how it. Uh, differentiates itself from the other Batman movies. We, right, we right. In. It, it is neat to see like more of the Riddler symbols, like when he was like stirring his coffee or whatever, not stirring, but like he got his little coffee thing and the design mm-hmm. and the foam was uh, the question mark. Yeah, that was neat. But like, like I really like the Riddler as a character, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm just really scared that then we can like just really dark and like depressing and like not the like stupid fun dude who's like Hoo-hoo, i'm gonna ask you a riddle and then if you get it right i'll turn myself into the police and it's like you know just like the fun dude from like classic comic book right. eras where right. it just it, it didn't like everything didn't have to be serious like like serious storylines in comic books can be some of the coolest ones mm-hmm. like not everything has to be super dark and serious like all the time Right, and and um, it's and a lot of people wanted like a really gritty Batman. I just almost like they just kind of felt that they, they picked the wrong villain for it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like for the Riddler, like there needs to be some kind of fun there where he's not just like all serious. Right, right. So uh, they had plenty to choose from. I actually, I really want to see Scarecrow at some point. Like I think the he was last in some of the other we ones. got was Batman Begins, right? Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen it. I think so. Oh, oh. Interesting. But, I was just uh, like, like with how you, you were into like a lot of the comic book movies that like the that like the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy would have been this something you watched. Well, remember, I just got into this last year, mm. so true, I just true, haven't true, had true. a chance to watch it. Um, mm. I I mean, it's on. I think it's on HBO Max. So I mean, like, yeah, I might do that at some point. Sweet. But uh, yeah, so I I like the Black Adam trailer i thought that was cool or the sneak preview i thought that was cool i'm excited yeah. for that it'll be interesting to see the rock kind of take on uh a, a role that's not explicitly the rock you know because he kind of plays one role and he does it really well so yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what he does we also got a trailer for young justice season that's right. four and like a sneak peek in like the first four minutes of the first episode mm-hmm. and the series is like out now which i had been keeping an eye on like if they were doing young justice season four still like what would happen with that mm-hmm. because uh like young justice season one and two aired on 
aired on Cartoon Network way back in the day. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, when when DC launched their streaming platform, which I don't remember, remember what the name of that was. It was like DC Infinite, DC something like Un- that, yeah, Limited or whatever. Unlimited. They, released that. Mm-hmm. they were like, "We're doing Young Justice season three, and it was this big deal because a lot of people really liked Young Justice, but it left off, you know." Right. Kind of like, oh, we're going to do more episodes with them. They didn't get, get the opportunity to, to do more. Mm-hmm. So they had season three. And then uh, the streaming platform was like, okay, and it's renewed for season four. We're going to have another season. Mm-hmm. And then the streaming platform no longer exists now. <laughs> right. It's, so, all, it's all on HBO Max now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like, are they doing Young Justice season four still? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, what's happening? And I'd, I'd been trying to an eye on it had looked into it for a while so i was very surprised after you know i saw the trailer for like young justice i was like oh they're doing a season four i was like oh when's it out and it's like oh it's out like right now like i can go on hbo max and and watch it i haven't watched it yet (laughs) but i'm excited to see more of it Mm -hmm. but let me tell you that is the most confusing cartoon i've ever watched i cannot (laughs) keep track of characters and there's so many characters right they have so many heroes in there Mm -hmm. like i'm introduced to new ones constantly i'm like i i cannot keep you straight Mm -hmm. like who's who did they mention anything about season three for uh, Harley Quinn? Because I've been waiting for that. I Have you don't watched that show? Seeing anything now? I, oh, that's a great I've show. It's it really funny. Yeah, like, it's really good. Kaylee Cuoco does a surprisingly good Harley, even though she yeah. kind of leaves out the uh, New York accent, which uh-huh. I kind of like about that. Uh, and it's like it was funny watching her like playing Penny for so long, who didn't know anything about comics, to being in a comic book show. I just thought that was funny. Oh, the actress from uh, the Big Bang Theory, the, yeah, Big Bang Theory. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, she cool, yeah cool. she plays Harley. She does a really great job. Sweet, um, sweet, sweet. But uh, and the last two pieces of news is not nerd related, but uh, this that seventy show is getting a spinoff on Netflix <laughs> called That Nineties Show. Uh, we'll follow Eric and Donna's daughter Leah Foreman, Leah Foreman, because you know Star Wars. Uh, in nineteen ninety five, she is re. What's going on with my computer? Oh, nothing. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she's visiting her grandparents in the summer where she bonds with, new, with a new generation of point place kids under watchful eye of Kitty and the staring glare, the stern glare of red Kurt Wood Smith and Deborah Joe Rupp are set to return in their original roles. The series uh, was ordered for, they ordered 10 episodes of the series and will be a multi-camp sitcom like the original show. So. That'll be interesting because like I've heard, like I haven't watch these 70s show but like i've it's heard that it that it that like it, it like was a very solid show and in like the very last season mm-hmm. it kind of just like sabotaged its, itself don't they all Almost. don't they all yeah every yeah. every sitcom does it except maybe community but i mean yeah. they, it had its weak moments but yeah, just all the ones that kind of keep getting renewed in the same way and they, and they can't keep up with how they're being uh renewed mm-hmm. um and, like i I, like, I think the, i literally think the only reason that that like community was kind of immune to that is because they like acknowledge that at every turn that like like they could when you have like abed going on like a whole like monologue about like how they're hemorrhaging characters <laughs> yeah. like we talk about this isn't a tv show um but yeah because like every other show they just lose characters and they have to act like oh yeah that's just you know well and that's what happened but, on this show the main whatever. character left yeah to Which, do spider-man 3 and become venom toe for grace oh yeah nice. so he left and that's when the show went downhill so it'll be interesting to kind of see you know like and shit like that like like what they acknowledge as canon and what they like mm-hmm. choose to kind of like avoid mm-hmm. talking about to kind of like let the audience because a lot of the shows they do that they're like you know they'll they'll focus on what the audience liked and then like plot points that are like equally as in the show is all the good stuff Mm-hmm. but like isn't liked well by the audience they'll kind of just like ignore that like push that just like uh the side right so we need to see how the show handles that and since it's only 10 episodes uh i i kind of fear how many cameos you're gonna try to squeeze in yeah because it looks like it's kind of getting the full house to fuller house treatment because it wasn't mm-hmm. the exact same thing where like fuller house uh received episodes as well mm-hmm. huh. yeah 
Um, and then lastly, it's a bit of tragic news. I'm sure everyone's heard by now was uh, someone was accidentally shot with a prop gun oh, uh, that yeah. had a live round in it on the set of the movie called Rust. The director was also injured in the incident. The person killed was uh, Helena Hutchins and our thoughts go out to her family during this time. Um, that was just a, a tragic thing and uh, figured we acknowledge it since this is an entertainment podcast. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, be careful with your props, ladies and gentlemen, uh, like yeah. we were in Phantom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's just one of the things, especially, you know, me having worked in like, in like a live theater, one of the things you learn there is like, is to check the props like multiple times or even mm-hmm. just doing like magic stuff on stage, you know, when you're like attending lectures and all that about doing magic shows, it's like, make sure you check your props always like and i know for big movies like that you know mm-hmm. there what like what is really neat is is just a team of, of, of people like okay you check this once you check this again like it needs to always so just for that slip up to happen i mean that really is like tragic because mm-hmm. of, un- unfortunately this could have been uh prevented maybe yeah. and like oh, i'm like oh, Hopefully, at least with this, like, n- not that there can really be any justice or like positive mm-hmm. to, to like to come out, but hopefully this will cause Hollywood to like re-examine the methods that like the, like they use, mm-hmm. like using blank rounds compared to just having it be in a com- computer where there aren't real gunshots and you right. just put it on there instead because what i uh, i didn't we realized until after all this came out and there were like what there were a bunch of like directors talking about it is like in a the punisher for every gun they have there they're just blanks there was no computer stuff in that at all meaning that like tons of risk because like all the people like most of the there were a lot of guns used in the punch and, yeah 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 and like not every extra with a gun was proper was properly trained on how to use the blanks these kind right. of had to have some kind of trust that nothing would go wrong but you can't have that that kind of trust where there's that much risk you need right. to make sure and have safeguards and it, it would be so much easier it'd be a just a bit more expensive but so much easier and so much safer just to have that that animation instead right and i i saw a video earlier today from a guy who he does he, he does prop guns that's like his specialty and stuff oh, like wow. that and um he was talking about you know the differences between doing a cgi because there are a lot of movies where they do just do cgi and then there are movies where they do blanks and he said um uh it's it's a lot more work to do it with cgi and you know it's a lot more time and effort um but there are places where it's necessary but there are places where it just won't work so, you know, just got to find the balance and, you know, get the correct training and, you know, have the people on set know who know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, cause I know, cause yeah. there's a big uh, strike right now in Hollywood and they, uh, this, the, this actually resulted in cutting corners cause there's a union for all the set workers and they're on strike. And so they hired a bunch of non-union union workers mm, who don't have like, who don't exactly have the, uh, the safe, the safe fails, the fail safes yeah, yeah. Uh, to kind of, combat just this like, kind of stuff so yeah the uh, it, training it's, it's, and like the expertise right right and so you know a lot went wrong uh and so you know yeah. hope they'll be working to fix it here in the next couple weeks and months yeah and it's years, just like so. only do stuff like that if you know what you're doing and if you can ensure that it will be a like a a, a safe mm-hmm. process because like right. I, I know that, that that in magic one of the most important lessons i've learned is, is like any no danger for you or anyone at all if there mm-hmm. is any danger you are doing it wrong right because there are tricks you, you like i guess the most common example is you know that trick with like the bags like a spike in one bag a machine has to like slam his hand on the three bags mm-hmm. and then the big reveal is like the fourth bag is one that has the spike and he didn't slam his hand on that one it's supposed mm-hmm. to be like a mentalism trick like knowing the bag or or or, you know whatever Mm -hmm. there are tons of different ways to do that 
most are safe, but you can do it in like risky ways where there actually is a chance of you slamming your hand onto that spike. Magicians have done that in the past mm -hmm. and it's not good. I think there was actually one really like infamous example, like a really bad time where like it, where like a magician had like a spectator up there with him and actually slammed the spectator's hand and his hand into the spike. Mm -hmm. And it's like, never should it get to that point. You're right you or especially like in an audience member you mm -hmm. should never put anyone who's not fully like aware and consenting to the danger in mm -hmm. in the danger there right right and then don't cut corners which is which is no. what happened here Just don't cut corners especially when yeah. you're using dangerous props like that but uh so let's uh transition uh, if we can out of that um exactly. and let's start uh, that's all the news i have so let's uh let's talk about some halloween stuff um i don't know what you want to do did let's you want to do, do like the uh how the, what the second option that i sent you or do you want to talk about our favorite our, let's just do three favorite uh halloween special episodes sure yeah just three favorite halloween entertainment pieces okay yeah, yeah, yeah. um do you want to start off do you want to go ahead and i will let you will what? Because you've frozen at this point. That is all right here. You uh, frozen. So say that again. I will give you the opportunity to just to, to start off here if you all like right. it, and not just because I need a little bit extra time to formulate everything. So do I, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so something that gets me in the Halloween spirit, I don't know why, uh, is uh, the the Halloween Bake Off. I love that show. Every Ooh. year when it comes around, um, okay. I just you know they like seeing all the cool creative ways people can make cake and dessert and such like and such. Um, I think it's called like the Great Halloween Bake Off, like or something like that. It's like a spinoff of the Great the Brit the Great British Bake Off or something. But uh, I I watched the first time in like sophomore year of high school. Like I'd just be doing homework and I throw that on in the background, and uh, I got really into it. And uh, I don't know, it's just something that gets me into the Halloween spirit. I have not watched it in a couple of years because I'm busy with stuff, but uh, it's still fun. I love watching that. Um, I was trying to think of Halloween episodes and such. Oh, are they just getting home? That's crazy. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, that's definitely something I love to watch Sweet. every Halloween. Oh, he's frozen again. We were going so well for a while. Classic. For oh, okay. We were going so well for a while without freezing. Oh wow! Yeah, and yeah. Then you started, I, and we started freezing again. I didn't realize you, you were still in your sentence there because you froze like the perfect ending of the sentence for me, and then like I started to and then it, it it cut back to you, and you were like still talking. I was like, "Oops!" No, <laughs> you froze um, too. <laughs> I had stopped, but then okay. you froze. Like, Ugh. um, what you do is like while I'm talking, you just like move your head around. So, like I know that, that like that. Now I know you're frozen. <laughs> As you say in that, I just like started moving my head and then you froze. So. This is great. This is great. This is fantastic. Anyway, really quickly, while I'm unfrozen still, just hitting off the first thing on my list, an all-time cl classic, you know I had to mention this, the Halloween episodes of Community. Community. They're all just uh, classics except for season four. Don't want yeah. to watch that Halloween episode. But like, the, but the first three, they're just so uh, like a diverse on how they approach Halloween. You have mm -hmm. uh, scary stories, monsters, just a classic Halloween party. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are great. No matter what kind of aspect of, of like Halloween you're in the mood for. Oh, I yeah. guess there's, there are some aspects they don't necessarily have uh, well, uh... <laughs> included, but for the most part. Right, right. Yeah, you're not gonna it's get jump scared community. by that episode yeah, by yeah. those episodes. But uh I think I'm frozen again. Yep, you were very okay. momentarily. But uh okay. all right, so I guess what would what be my second thing? Oh no, but we'll get to that in a second. But <laughs> my second favorite is probably and I didn't like this at first, but it's the slutty pumpkin episode of How I Met Your Mother. It's season one, it's the Halloween episode. And the whole premise of the episode is that uh the main character Ted is he found this one girl one year, uh, and she was dressed as a slutty pumpkin, and by that he means like strategically uh, cut pumpkin. Um, 
you know, to make it look all slutty and such, because pumpkins inherently are not slutty. Interesting. Um, so he every year he dresses up as the same thing, hoping to. Uh, I, he's froze again. I wonder if he can hear me. Nope. Could you hear me then? Because you froze. I could hear part of it, but you did freeze for okay. a bit. So essentially, he he dresses up as uh, the same thing every year. Goes to the same Halloween party. He dresses as a hanging Chad from the uh, Do not elections in 2000. And this movie came out in 2000. This show came out in 2006. So that's how long he had been trying to find this woman. Um, and so uh, he never, I don't think he ended up finding her that episode. He did in the second ep- second Slutty Pumpkin episode, but I hate that episode. Okay. Um, so no, I just, I like watching this every year. I haven't watched it yet this year. I'm probably going to do that after we're done here. But uh, yeah, I love, I love watching that every year. The Slutty Pumpkin. Nice, nice, nice. Let me. <laughs> I didn't think prepare for this either. Other for the record, Halloween <laughs> episode specials. Because there's like other. Like if you I can be- oh. Other media's I have in mind. Like you could do like a Halloween, mo- like a movie, like you watch every year during Halloween or something. It doesn't obviously because I did the Bake Off thing, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I, I will say this is just a little bit of a sidebar here, Yeah. but on every Halloween playlist I have, I also have several ABBA songs <laughs> purely because of the second season community <laughs> Halloween, uh, episode. Yeah. Just an, just an all, just an all time classic. Um, why is this so tricky? Since you've eaten on the podcast, it's my turn to eat on the podcast. I don't know why it's so tricky because that was, when you that think- was really funny. You started picking out a fry of the container. It froze on my screen, <laughs> then it unfroze in the same spot. It's you're gone now, but and then it just <laughs> and then it just froze again with the fry <laughs> right up here. It just kept. It's, 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 it's just like those books where you flip through and make the image go, but it's like if you just look at each page, it's you <laughs> holding the fry in slightly different positions. Uh, let's see. Now, uh, a... A... Uh, a movie... I really do like uh, watching around Halloween time. Uh, um... Eric and Tycho, just because it's a mm-hmm. it's a classic. It's like a slasher film, not specifically Halloween slasher, right? But just Clue the movie as well. Okay, a, yeah. another classic there. Uh, more Halloween, uh, the the Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, so is that a Fantastic. Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Both. Yes, I agree. You, I, know what? you could watch it straight through from Halloween to Christmas. Christmas has too many movies. Let's just count it as, as, as a Halloween here. Well, if you call all horror movies Halloween movies, then so does Halloween. What? If you count all horror movies as Halloween movies, so does Halloween. It's a Thanksgiving movie. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, Okay, yeah, those are good movies. Yep. Yeah, Does can... that count as number two for me? Yeah, that could count for as number two. <laughs> oh, geez. This is, you know, Brilliant. in my head, this is a better <laughs> idea. But I also didn't give us time to prepare for it. So <laughs> I sent it to you when I was at work. And I'm assuming Before, it was like, you were at work. It was like earlier today. Yes. Yeah. And so I didn't prepare at work, obviously, because I was no. working. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, I didn't do anything when I got home because I was tired. Uh, anyway, so number three for me. Number three. Is The Great Pumpkin. Tra- it, the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Love watching that every year. It's a great it's a classic, classic movie. Classic. Classic. Just classic. Nothing more you can say about that because I can't think of anything more to say about that. <laughs> it's just us saying classic. Just uh Back and forth here. It's a great episode. Um, <laughs> classic. Uh, 
<laughs> mm. I might have to call this episode freeze frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Freeze frame would be a fantastic name. Ah, uh, there is the. Oh, no. Watch on Netflix. But I haven't Say watched that again? every Halloween. There is the Fear Street series oh, yeah. on Halloween yeah, on yeah, Netflix, yeah. which I haven't watched every Halloween because it just came out this year. I also haven't just seen all of them yet. But that gotcha. was that was pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can watch it every Halloween from here on out. Then. What takes place on on like Halloween? Why can I not think of like a single Brooklyn Nine Nine, the Halloween heists? There oh we go. Oh my God! How did I forget? There we about go. That? I knew there was something so else good. I had watched. I Those knew there was great. something else I watched recently that had Halloween Those are episodes. wonderful. I'm, and I think yeah. on uh, Sunday morning, I'm going to watch all those all the way through. Yeah. That is they, great. They, like, in my opinion, they do range in terms of, like, quality and all that. Like, the first mm-hmm. Halloween heist is undisputed, like, masterpiece there. Oh, yeah. And I think I like the second one, too. And then, like, and then the one where, like, it's, like, the... Palmer bun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. That's a great one. <laughs> um, and, and and I like no. that like the series finale of the series. Don't don't spoil it. Okay. But now that I know it's a yeah, you, you now I you know probably, what it is, but yeah, you probably already know what it is. But they they chose to end the series with that as well, That's just because it it like was a classic. Right, 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 right. Um so we like, should do a ranking video. Remember how we did the ranking of community? We should yeah, do that. For, we should rank the uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Halloween heists. Yeah, those oh, no, just are the show in general. Because remember, we did that for community. We did our favorite. Oh, community episodes. oh, oh, you mean like the whole show? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I actually like uh, recently like like uh, binge watched the whole show again. I believe I mentioned that in an earlier episode. Probably can't remember a single thing about it uh right now but like probably my favorite episodes just a little spoiler in in the future here but sure. uh the pontiac bandit episodes with uh uh yeah Doug judy i don't remember the actor name mm-hmm. Doug judy's um, great yeah 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 it's fantastic he's he's one of my favorite characters like anytime it's one of those episodes you know they're gonna be good except for one there's one i didn't like but i sure i can't remember that but yeah it's a community a bunch of random movies halloween heists <laughs> not in that order uh well i've already i've oh, mine was uh halloween baking show uh how i met your mother uh it's a slutty pumpkin and uh the other thing i said oh, charlie brown yeah there we go yeah, what yeah. a mess of the episode and? this was Oh, she's she's frozen again. <laughs> oh God, this is a mess. <laughs> also, in terms of fun watching, there's anything that's that's uh, Alfred Hitchcock because hmm. those are just nice ones to watch. And there's the classic uh, 1960s Adam West, like uh, a Batman movie yes. because that is so chaotic and you know it was not filmed in filmed in order and you can tell most of the scenes were probably uh improvised in ways but it's fantastic good good uh so i think this is a good place to stop this oh yeah wild episode i'm getting a new computer for sure now i'm i'm pretty sure five minutes in this episode was a great oh then there's a freeze so th- i you know what? Don't oh. even bother saying that again because you froze. I was, I was saying, saying anytime it would be a perfect time to end this because it just kept freezing. Of course, I froze while I said that. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you guys like this video episode somehow, you you don't even have to listen to it. If you're listening to it, I'm surprised you made it this far. Uh, give it a like. Subscribe wherever you are. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review, damn it. Five stars. Yeah. That's on sure. the podcast platforms. Because remember, okay. I put this on podcast platforms, yes. not just YouTube. Um, and remember. Give it a like. Remember, if this was your favorite episode, please seek urgent psychological help <laughs> because this was a disaster. But uh, still yeah. better than the last 20 
minutes of last podcast. So <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, also, we have a countdown to Halloween starting. I think I, by the time I post this, post this, it have, I would have already posted the other one uh, on real shit. So go check that out. We got another one coming out nice. on Thursday. So it's peace R- out, everybody. R E E. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> <laughs> peace. Uh-